the night of the 3rd to the 4th of September 1943. The Gestapo chief in Antwerp had decided to make Antwerp Judenrein, to clean Antwerp of Jews. I'll never forget when they brought out the regulations that all Jews had to wear a yellow star of that size. It had to be uh, stitched onto your garment. Whoever doesn't stitch it onto the garment will face terrible consequences and so on. So it was um, like, you know, push apart, you know. You are that, now, uh, you don't belong to the normal crowd. My cousin Sylvain, he usually come, came every day to, um, to pass the day with, with me. Then the one day that he arrived was a, the 3rd of September, he was at our place, and we were reading or playing something, I don't remember. But I remember clearly telling him, Sylvain, you better start going home. There's a curfew. Yeah, okay. So he left. See you tomorrow. We never saw him again. The shopkeeper, she, was, she had a greengrocer shop on the corner of the street. At six o'clock in the morning, she came to knock at the door. Mrs. Sips, get out, go. Just go, disappear. Well, <laughs> we had our clothes on and we went. The SS officer moved his pointing finger along the line of boys and summoned us, one at a time, to come forward and stand in front of him. We all pretended not to understand German, a language so close to the Yiddish we spoke at home. He had an interpreter at his side. He asked each of us our name, how long we'd been in Bessin, where our parents were, and so on. After the interrogation, some of us were told to return to our places, while others were taken into the next room by the Gestapo officer for a physical examination. It was eventually my turn. My knees started shaking so violently that I don't know how I was able to walk around the huge table to stand in front of the SS officer. His first question was, do you understand German? I turned to the interpreter and said in French, I don't understand. The officer responded by asking me several questions in German while looking directly at me. In confusion, I answered him in French. He dismissed me with a smile and remarked, so you don't understand any German. Realizing that he had caught me out in a lie, I was devastated and scared. The interrogations continued into the late afternoon, and throughout the whole time we had to stand with our backs against the wall. It was only after the SS and Gestapo officers finally left that we were allowed to sit down. We suspected that it would not be long before we were removed from the chateau and sent somewhere else. We were right. A few days after our interrogation, we were told to pack our belongings we were being transferred. My message to the young generations is read about what happened didn't only happen to Jews, but they were the main, the main victims of, of it all. Don't believe extreme 
religion or extreme nationalism. Remember that you have a conscience. 